Money can get wasted so quickly and so easily on things that are huge distractions for us. And I'm talking your TV, I'm talking high-end makeup, I'm talking video games, I'm talking anything that takes you away from what you need to actually get done. That's just a huge distraction, right? And these are just a few things to scratch the surface. But I really wanna dig into the biggest distraction of all, which is that TV. If you have a TV in every single room of your house, what are you doing? Please ask yourself, is this helping me or is this hurting me? Because it's more than likely hurting you. Personally, I unplugged every single TV in my house. I hit it and then I realized that it was a huge distraction for me. And then I got rid of all of my TVs. And you may think I'm crazy for that, but honestly, I wouldn't be able to go after my big dreams and my big goals if I hadn't done that. So ask yourself that question, test it out, unplug your TV, hide it away from yourself and see how you feel, evaluate yourself. Ask yourself like, you know, maybe I really was binging too many shows. Maybe I really was watching too many movies. Maybe those documentaries weren't really helping me as much as I thought they were, right? Just test it out and see how you feel honestly, because as soon as I realized that, I was able to finally get more out of life. And once I got rid of all my TVs, I learned about replacing them with whiteboards. And that's exactly what I did. I have a huge whiteboard and you don't have to be like me. You don't have to have a huge whiteboard. You could just get a regular sized whiteboard and just try it out. Make sure it's securely put on the wall and test it out. Put three important tasks that you wanna get done for the day. Just write them down, three tasks. You're gonna see them, right? Your brain's gonna be like, I have to figure out how to get this done now because it's right in front of me. When it's in your head, you don't think about it. You just kind of like let it slide and then you find a distraction and you forget about it. If it's in front of you, you're gonna be more likely to actually get it done. And I wanna talk about high-end makeup. I don't have anything so against it, right? I just am upset that I see so many women getting every single color of lip gloss, right? And then it just sits there. Just have the basics. I use high-end makeup. I use high-end mascara, high-end eyeliner, cause it's good shit, right? But you don't need 10 different lip glosses, right? It just sits there, it collects dust, it goes bad. And then you've got that sunk cost fallacy, right? Where like, if you spent all this money on it, you feel like you have to use it. And like, you have this blue lip gloss that you never fucking use. And it just sits there and you're pissed off about it. And it, all that really is, is a distraction. That's a distraction. Because you're worried about keeping all of your makeup organized and maintaining it and making sure that it's still good to use. Did it expire, right? You're probably hoarding it and you do not want to be a hoarder. Those are the beginning phases of becoming a hoarder, okay? When you're collecting makeup, that's a very, very bad slippery slope. It gets worse. That's how it starts. It just starts off with collecting a few things and just over time you keep collecting and collecting more things and things are bad, honestly. You don't want a lot of things. If you look behind me, I don't have a lot of things. And I'm not saying you have to be like a minimalist. I'm saying don't be a maximalist. Don't be an extremist. Don't be a hoarder. Hoarding things is only hurting you. Just stick to the basics. All you need are one of each thing. That's it. You don't need so many different variations of lip gloss, mascara, eyeliner, eyeshadows, all those different palettes. They just collect in dust. There's so many of them you probably have that are expired, honestly. Like you should go out and see how much of that you already have, right? And get rid of it, throw it away because it probably did go bad. You shouldn't be using it. It's not It's not good to be using expired makeup. That's what makes you break out. And holding on to all of those things turns you into a hoarder. When you do not throw things away and they just keep collecting and you get more and more and it's just distracting you. It's like, there's all these things. Your brain's like, what the hell? I can't focus. There's all of these things going on and just stop. Just take these things, either donate them, throw them away and clear up that space because if you're serious about getting after things in life and you wanna do more out of life and you wanna go after your goals, having a lot of things is hurting you. It's hurting you because your brain is like trying to process all of the things around you all the time. It's like, I bought that thing two years ago and I still haven't used it. Oh, I should probably use that. Stop that, right? Your brain shouldn't be thinking that way. It should be thinking about more important things, like things that it needs to get done, not if you didn't use the thing that you bought two years ago and you feel bad about it. It's not a good way to live. All that's doing is stopping you from going after what you want. And moving forward, make sure that you're buying things that are good for you instead of buying things that are bad for you. Be intentional. When you're at the bookstore, for instance, like. Pretend like you're kind of like an influencer, right? I know that seems kind of silly, but once I started doing that and I was like, everything I do, everything I touch, somebody is like wondering like, hmm, what is that person doing? Like, I want to check that out. And when you 
think about your life that way and you feel like, you know, people are interested in what you're doing, you're going to make better decisions that way instead of picking up things that, you know, mm, it's not really going to help me in any way. This thing, it's actually going to help me. I should be looking at this thing instead. I want to inspire somebody when I look at this thing. That's what I want you to do. Instead of going to like, let's say you go to Barnes and Noble and you're in the manga section and it's like, yeah, it's not really doing anything for you, right? I used to read that shit and it's just, it's garbage. Like, let's be honest. Like, it's just junk food reading. That's what I want to call that. It's, it's okay in the sense that at least you're reading instead of watching a TV show or watching a movie that you've seen like a hundred million times, right? Well, it's just like a few steps above that. Let's try to, you know, level up our lives here and think like, what is something that could really help me? What could benefit me? What could give me more value in my life? That's what I want to be looking at. I want somebody to look at me and be like, damn, she's inspiring me. Or that guy, he's inspiring me. I want to pick up what he's looking at, right? I want to take a look at whatever that person's doing. That's how I want you to live your life. I want you to live your life like that. And you're going to make so many better decisions. And I also want you to really, truly invest in yourself. Buy things like vitamins, supplements, collagen, things that are going to fuel you and give you good energy instead of the fast food and the energy drinks like Monster Energy Drinks and Red Bull. Please, if you touch that shit, throw it the fuck away. Stop with that shit. All you're doing is disrespecting yourself and you're poisoning yourself. You're going to owe that back one day. You think that right now, like it's not a big deal, right? But think about that. Like you probably have anxiety. You're probably like your heart beating real fast and shit. That's not normal. That's not healthy. Your body should not be doing that. Your body's yelling at you. That's your body saying like, what are you doing to me? Please stop. This is not right. This is not fair. I don't want to live like this. If your body could speak, that's what, that's what it's doing. When it does that, it's speaking to you. It's yelling at you. It's like, no, this is not it. This is not right. We're not doing this. Please stop. And you can also buy things that are good for you in the sense of like your sleep, right? I'm such a firm believer in that. Sleep is the foundation to living a good, healthy life, to actually going after it. Get proper sleep, get blue light blocking glasses, get blackout curtains, get a sleeping mask, get a white noise machine. There are so many things online. The internet is at our fingertips. Like literally look this shit up and do the best for yourself. Buy things that are actually going to improve your life and not hurt you, right? Buy things that are gonna not distract you, that are gonna help you focus, that are gonna help you do more. Getting proper sleep helps you focus, helps you go after it, gives you that good energy to just keep fucking going. That's what I want you to do. Like seriously, ask yourself serious questions. Like dead ass, like is this helping me or is this hurting me? Is this designer bag helping me, right? It's probably only helping you if you go and see your clients and you have to break deals and do sales and stuff in person. That could be helpful for you. If you're not the kind of person that is going out and being seen by people that you're trying to break sales to in real life, why do you have a designer bag? You're probably trying to impress people that you don't like, right? That's not worth it. It's so expensive. You could be using that money to invest in yourself through those supplements, through those sleeping products that I mentioned through self-improvement books, right? Anything to improve yourself should be the focus here, not to impress other people, not to seek validation from others. Seek validation within yourself. Fill your own cup. Make sure that you're making decisions that are going to help your future self and not the people around you, the opinions of the people around you. We don't care about them. We care about ourselves around here. We care about our personal growth and going after it so that we can inspire others to go after it, so that we can be strong leaders, so that we can break bad cycles, right? I want you to break generational trauma of being broke in the scarcity mindset. That's what I'm all about. We're thinking bigger, we're being bolder and we're doing better. We're going after our big goals. We're going after our big dreams because you can do it. You can start from nothing and go and get everything you want and more. Is that new iPhone gonna help you make more money, right? Not much changes with these new iPhones. Like the fucking camera, that's the only thing that changes. What else changes, honestly? I don't even know. I don't keep up with that. That's such a waste of money. You have a good iPhone, keep that iPhone, all right? Take the money and spend it more wisely. Think about it this way. Is the thing that I'm gonna buy gonna make me more money or is it just gonna make other people around me happier and myself a little happier, right? Hmm. When you start thinking about things like that, it changes your perspective. Look through a different lens here. Think about that. Would younger you be happy with you spending money on a brand new latest edition of the iPhone, right? When your iPhone's perfectly fine? No, probably not. 
they would be disappointed in you. They would think like, why didn't you get the thing that was gonna help you with your sleep, right? Why didn't you do that instead? Because you, you knew that that would help you focus. So that's the thing that you should really be spending your money on. And the most important thing I want you to do is to wait. Please wait before buying things. You are impulsively buying things, that's gotta stop because I was you and I used to just jump on Amazon and buy things right away. Think about it, especially when it's expensive and complicated things like a new camera, a new laptop. See if you can rent it, test it out first. Make sure you like that, right? What if it's not really what you need it, not really what you were looking for and you wasted all your money on it and now you're stuck with it and it just collects dust? That's not worth it. That is not worth it. And that's a huge distraction, right? Because now you're like, well, shit, I have to keep doing research. I gotta keep figuring out, well, what is it that I'm supposed to get? And now you're frustrated with yourself. Now you're, it's taking you away from the thing that you're actually supposed to be doing. So why don't you try renting it? Why don't you try waiting instead of impulsively buying things? Because that's not helping you, it's only hurting you. Especially, honestly, everything you do, every single thing that you buy, wait at least a week, one week, Practice that self-control, practice discipline. These are things that nobody's talking about. I'm here to tell you the truth, okay? These are the biggest things that are actually gonna help you get going, that are actually gonna help you go after your goals. It's discipline, it's self-control, okay? You need that. You can't be impulsively buying shit and expecting to go places in life. It doesn't work like that. I want you to make a list. I want you to make a list every single time you think about something that you wanna buy, write it down. Or if you have Notion, make a whole list for Notion and have it. That's what I do. I just log it in. That way I don't lose the list, right? Because this could be an ongoing list. This could be a list that lasts for years, right? Have a list of things, break it down. If it's really expensive, break it down. Have it in a section where it's expensive stuff. And if it's not so expensive, not so necessary right now, break that down, write it down, log it in there and think about it. Wait a month if it's expensive. Wait a month if it's complicated, if it's something you just don't know if you need right now and then decide, do I really need this? Or was it something that I just wanted that I didn't actually need? You'll realize that more than half of the things on that list you don't want anymore. That happens more often than I would like to say, honestly. I was like, when I first started doing it, I was thinking to myself, I'm gonna need all of these things and I just need the money to get them first. So let me just put them on the list. And then I realized I don't need these things. Like these were just desires. These were just things that I really wanted, but I don't need. These things aren't actually gonna help me grow. These things aren't actually gonna help me go after it. And I'm not saying to not buy anything. I'm actually, I really truly encourage you to buy things as rewards. When you do something good, I want you to reward yourself because when you reward yourself, it incentivizes you to keep going. If you aren't rewarding yourself, shame on you. That's disrespectful to yourself, okay? Reward yourself with things that are good for you though. If you're rewarding yourself with junk food, like Taco Bell, like a soda, like alcohol, like weed, like things that are literally taking away from you instead of adding into you, right? What are you doing? You're disrespecting yourself. That's like slapping yourself in the face. You, you hate yourself is what you're saying. When you go and you get that stuff as a reward, that's not a good reward. And that's not what I'm talking about. I want you to think about the thing that you did. Think about the goal, right? Once you accomplish that goal, let's say it was writing in your journal every morning and you, know, you were saying what we were grateful for. Well, okay, let's say you did that for a week because a goal is a dream without a deadline, okay? So, Let's say that you wrote down what you were grateful for every morning for one week. I want you to reward yourself. Get like the five minute journal, it makes it easier. I swear by that journal, by the way, and I literally say it all the time. If you don't have one, what are you doing? Please just go order that shit. I'm not sponsored or anything. Just buy it and thank me later because it's so good. It just breaks down everything that you should be doing every single morning and every single night, okay? Make it easier on yourself. That's what we like to do around here. We like to make the good things easy and the bad things difficult. Make things easier for you. Reward yourself. When you do something good, reward yourself. Otherwise, you're, you're just gonna be like, well, why should I keep going? I had to do it anyway. It's like, no, you didn't. You didn't have to do that. You should be proud of yourself for doing that and you should reward yourself for doing that. But just do it in a healthy way. Try to relate it back, right? Like I said, look at the goal, see what the goal was and see if you can add into that goal and make it better. Stick with it, turn it into a habit. Make yourself stick with that goal. And when I say to make the bad things difficult, I want you to hide things away from yourself. Like I said earlier with the TV, unplug your damn TV, hide it away from yourself. See how you feel. 
ask yourself those questions. Like, was it a form of an escape, right? Was I using it a little too much for the wrong things? Hide things away from yourself more often, not just the TV. Anything you think that is negatively impacting you, that is distracting you, hide things away from yourself and have an accountability partner. If you don't have somebody sitting next to you right now, right? And you're watching this video alone. You do need an accountability partner. And I can be that for you. I can work with you. I can get you going after your dreams. And I know you got big dreams. I know you want to go after it. So let's get you going after it. Like, seriously, what are you doing? Every day that goes by, it's just, that's a day that you missed, right? Every single day that goes by is a missed opportunity to go after your goal. What are you doing? You should be ashamed of yourself, honestly. Come on, let's do it. Scroll down right now, click on the top link in the description and let's work together. Let me get you going after it. Let's get you reaching your goals because I know you're worth it. I know you can do it. I believe in you, but you need to believe in yourself. All right, let's do it. And I'll see you next time, all right? Bye for now.